It's a place you'll never find another place like Fox Point. I don't, I don't care where you go. That's why I stay here. Oftentimes, when, when we got over, I said, right, let's go, let's go to Boston. Let's go there, let's go there. You take Fox Point, put it on the trailer truck, and I'll go. I'm not leaving Fox Point. Now today, it ain't like before. The Creoles used to get together. All the Cambridge, I don't care who it was. Everybody was family. But now everybody's scattered, 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 you know. The Providence Development Agency said that the families had to move. They told us, well, we're going to fix these houses up. We're going to knock some of them down. We're going to fix them up. And you're going to be the first ones to come in. But little did we know, you know, we couldn't afford these houses here. You know what gets me so mad is now they call Fox Point the Lower East Side. I said, this is not the Lower East Side. This is Fox Point. Because of Interstate 195 and the redevelopment, many families had to move out of this area. And if you meet any of them and you ask them, where are you from? There's only one response you will get from them. It is, I'm from Fox Point. Even, even if they now live in East Providence, Pawtucket, North Providence, or wherever they reside today, you can hear the pride that they have for the point. When we talk about a transatlantic legacy, for Cape Verdeans from Fox Point, where I'm sitting has a real significance symbolically and historically. We're in Rhode Island, R-H-O-D-E, but this road, R-O-A-D, is a special place for us. One of our main roads was the sea, and behind me is the road that the packets arrived in right behind me. The road, R-O-A-D, also is behind me, and it's the road that shaped our community, framed our community when we were here, and then displaced our community. And then on the other side is India Point Park. And that historically, India Point, was the road that went from here across the Atlantic and made American history and American wealth. We're at the center and the heart of the Cape Verdean community.